Unlocking Fearful Attachment, Healing Bonds for a Secure Future. Welcome to Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World, where we tackle the complexities of our lives with the relentless pursuit of truth and understanding. In today's episode, we'll explore the complex world of attachment styles focusing specifically on fearful attachment. We'll discuss its common and uncommon causes, both in childhood and adulthood, and discuss what we can do to create a secure attachment. So buckle up and join us on this poignant journey. In the never-ending rainstorm of human emotions, one stands tall, its grip firm and its teeth sharp, fearful attachment. The spider weaves its web and so do we, leaving traces of our fear and insecurity behind us. But where does this fear come from? And can we change our patterns to embrace the light of security? What is fearful attachment? Fearful attachment, also known as disorganized attachment or fearful avoidant attachment, is a type of attachment style characterized by a strong desire for intimacy and connection, coupled with a deep-seated fear of rejection and abandonment. It's characterized by a confusing mix of desire for closeness and a fear of vulnerability. It's like watching a ship caught in a storm, battered by the waves of emotion, struggling to find the safety of the shore. People with this attachment style may experience emotional turmoil as they crave closeness, but simultaneously push their partners away. Their relationships are fraught with confusion, anxiety, and ambivalence. To understand fearful attachment, we must first understand the concept of attachment styles. Attachment theory, developed by John Bowlby and Mary Ainsworth in the 1950s and the 1960s, posits that our early experiences with caregivers shape the way we form bonds with others throughout our lives. There are four main attachment styles, secure, anxious preoccupied, dismissive avoidant, and fearful avoidant. Common causes of fearful attachment in childhood. In many cases, fearful attachment develops in childhood as a result of inconsistent or unpredictable caregiving. This inconsistent or unpredictable caregiving can include situations where a child's needs are sometimes met with warmth and affection, but other times met with coldness or even hostility. Children in these environments learn that they cannot rely on their caregivers for consistent support and protection, which creates feelings of insecurity and anxiety. Picture a world where the sun rises and sets at random, with no warning or pattern. The child is thrust into a state of perpetual uncertainty, not knowing when or if their needs will be met. In some cases, caregivers may even be a source of their fear and pain, casting shadows on the very concept of safety and love. Another common cause of fearful attachment is the experience of trauma or abuse. Children who are exposed to violence, neglect, or other traumatic events may develop a deep sense of mistrust and fear, making it difficult for them to form healthy attachments later in life. Uncommon Causes of Fearful Attachment in Childhood Beyond the more common causes, there are other factors that can contribute to the development of fearful attachment in childhood. One such factor is genetic predisposition. Research has suggested that certain genes may play a role in developing attachment styles, making some individuals more prone to fearful attachment than others. Another uncommon cause is early separation from a primary caregiver, such as through adoption or the death of a parent. In these cases, the child may struggle to form a secure attachment with a new caregiver, leading to fearful attachment patterns. The ground beneath us shifts, and we are left scrambling for something to hold on to, our attachment patterns thrown into disarray. Fearful Attachment in Adulthood As adults, individuals with a fearful attachment style will find it highly difficult to form truly stable, healthy relationships. They may be prone to jealousy, possessiveness, and a need for constant reassurance, while simultaneously fearing vulnerability and pushing others away. These patterns can make it challenging for them to find lasting, meaningful connections with others. As we age, we carry the burdens of our past like invisible chains, and fearful attachment is no exception. In adulthood, common causes of fearful attachment may include unresolved childhood issues, as well as experiences of betrayal, abuse, or abandonment in relationships. The ghosts of our past haunt our present, shaping our perceptions and reactions. Creating Secure Attachment Although the roots of fearful attachment often lie in early life experiences, it's important to remember that, as always, change is possible. By working to develop a secure attachment style, individuals can foster healthier relationships and a greater sense of well-being. The path to secure attachment may be long and winding, but it is a journey worth embarking on. One key step in this process is cultivating self-awareness. 
By recognizing and understanding the patterns and behaviors associated with fearful attachment, individuals can begin to make conscious efforts to change those patterns. Creating a secure attachment begins with self-awareness and self-compassion. Embrace the shadows within and learn to understand the storms that rage inside you. Recognize and understand the patterns and behaviors associated with fearful attachment. Seek the help of professionals such as therapists or counselors to guide you through the labyrinth of your emotions. Therapy can be an invaluable resource in this journey. A trained therapist can help individuals explore the underlying causes of their attachment style, work through past traumas, and develop new strategies for relating to others. One therapeutic approach that has proven effective in addressing attachment issues is Emotionally Focused Therapy, or EFT, which focuses on creating secure bonds and fostering emotional responsiveness between partners. Another critical aspect of creating secure attachment is cultivating self-compassion. By learning to treat oneself with kindness and understanding, individuals can begin to challenge negative beliefs about the worthiness of love and connection. Practicing self-compassion can also help to build resilience, making it easier to navigate the inevitable challenges that arise in relationships. Finally, communication is key. Open, honest communication can help individuals with fearful attachments express their needs and fears, allowing their partners to understand better and support them. Individuals can work with their partners to build trust and create a more secure attachment by engaging in constructive dialogue. Fearful attachment is a complex and challenging attachment style that can profoundly affect a person's relationships and sense of self. However, by understanding its causes and working to develop a secure attachment style, individuals can break free from the cycle of fear and insecurity that often characterizes their relationships. Through self-awareness, therapy, self-compassion, and communication, it is possible to create a more stable and fulfilling foundation for connection and intimacy. And with that, we've come to the end of our discussion on fearful attachment. We hope that this short exploration has provided you with a deeper understanding of the complexities and challenges associated with this attachment style. Remember that despite the difficulties that may arise from a fearful attachment, change is possible. With dedication and self-awareness, you can work towards a more secure and fulfilling connection with others. Thank you for tuning in to Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. As always, our sources are in the description. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast for more engaging and thought-provoking episodes. We are on every platform. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the world around you.